Welcome back to Live Inside the Booth. Again, I'm your host, Marlon Lowe. Having a good time with this, man. I'm having a great time with all the players and everybody else that we've been talking to and been inside the booth. Look, today we got a young man from Mansfield Legacy, Trey Tennyson. Guard, fluffy, got the bar working with the dude. Listen, we want to get him inside the booth. Let's talk to him. Let's find out a little bit more about who he is, see where he's going to school at, what's happening with him and what's going on, what's, what's, uh, what he look, looks forward to doing. So right now, without further ado, let's get Trey up inside of here. See what we can do. Trey! What's up? What's going on with you, man? Good. How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. What's been ha- what's, what, what you been up to over these holidays so far? What's been going on over this Christmas break? We, we just got back from Waco, like, Sunday. Uh, other than that, I just really – I went to East Texas to visit my grandma uh, on Christmas. And then – I just really just been playing basketball and going to the gym. East Texas. We're at we're at in East Texas. Uh Mineola, like the Mineola area. Okay. Mineola. Mineola. I got it. I got it. So this is your senior year, right? Yes, sir. You got about five and a half, six months of walking the hallways. What's gonna be some of your most memorable moments? Uh probably. Probably just being able to at lunch, definitely lunch, like with Enoch, TC, all my friends, all of all my friends at Legacy. We just be fooling at lunch. Just. Oh yeah, what what you mean fooling at lunch? What y'all be doing, man? Like we get like a circle, and then and not really a circle, it's just at the lunch table. We just like rip on each other and just they just be flaming each other up. And just, <laughs> Okay, okay. Now I got a question. Here it is. It's after school and you walk into the gym and it's a sign on the door that says, no practice today, gym closed. Mm. What you gonna do for the rest of the day? Where can people find you doing? Um, Probably the video game. I just, because Mitchell, he don't be having that. He have practice every day for five hours. You know, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, I'll be trying to go home. Like every after every job, I'll be done yet, and he just, all right, new drill, and just keep on going. <laughs> okay, Coach Mitchell be he he be locked in. He's trying to get trying to get y'all better, trying to get it going. He want he want he wants to win a championship. I know when he he got a he's he's excited about this team. I talked to him when I was up there uh, a couple months ago. He's excited about this team compared to a team that he coached here in Houston uh, back when he was in Houston. So. Look like y'all got y'all got the right y'all got the right uh ingredients to kind of help take this thing as far as y'all can go. I've been trying to go home. <laughs> <laughs> so now, from a basketball perspective, right? From a basketball perspective, y'all are off to a twenty y'all are twenty and four overall, uh, two and zero oh in district. You play uh, at Everman on July fourth, which is tomorrow. So, you guys are on a nine game winning streak. And you won 14 of your last 15 games. What's the mindset now that you all are in district play as far as how you what's the, uh, what you're looking forward to doing? Honestly, like we're happy that we won those games, but like I'm like, I want more. Like, so like they like see that I want more. And then I don't really like I, I'm not gonna say I don't care, but like it's not like that championship that we just won in Waco is not gonna catch, it's not gonna really matter because nobody really gonna remember that unless it's like district or further in playoff. Like, okay. Okay. So you want more. Speaking of more, I can, I, I can understand why you want it. Two years ago, you won a state championship at Timberview, a state championship at Timberview, Timberview two years ago. Tell us about that experience. What was that experience like in the energy that was uh, involved in that? Uh, that was like, I'll, I remember everything from that whole season, like just from, the playoffs, both times, that we, all three times that we played Waxahachie, like, it's just, I still talk to them, like, Tim, like, Isaac, Chris, not really Chris, but like, I talk to, like, Isaac a lot, like, it's just, like, the brotherhood that we had was just, like, like it was, like, tight, and, like, it was just, really, like, a remarkable experience, like, I definitely want to do that again, for sure. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. I get that. You want to do that again. We all want that. That's a great feeling. What a rush, right? I remember every. I still got my ring medal. I, I still got, I took a water bottle, like for all the memories, like the water bottles that we used. I mm-hmm. took that, the towels. Yeah, I still have it all in the little box. Got to store it. Got to store it away for a later date to just keep those memories intact. You gonna might have to try to make some room. So hopefully this year you can try to add add some more things to that box, right? Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. Facts. Now, you wear number one. Why are you wearing number one? Why? Why? Why number one? Uh, I don't know. It's always been like kind of like a good luck number, like. I, I just always wore number one, and then and every Tim review, whenever I got the Tim review, when I got on varsity my sophomore year, CJ took number one. Like, I couldn't really – so I got 21 because it had one in it. And mm-hmm. I just been playing with it. And I came to Legacy this year, and I can get number one, so I just took it. Give me mine. Give it back. I need that, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. So – how has Coach Mitchell's style of play helped you in, in your progression of your game? How, tell me about the system and how how you've uh, how it's helped you. Uh, like I play fast, so like Timber, we play really fast, like in transition and stuff. And like that's how I like to play. So like Coach Mitchell, that kind of play is like the same. Like we like to play fast and stuff, but I get to shoot like more like I, I'm not gonna say crazy shots, but like I get to like shoot like the shots that I want, like get open, like shoot. At Timber Valley, it's more of like a like a spot up and like come off and like whenever Chris and them would drive, I'll be open. Like here I get to do like more and like play fast. Like how I get to control like how I want to play instead of like following somebody else's. Okay. So in other words, like like you said, you get a chance to open up and showcase a little bit more of your game in the under Coach Mitchell's Mitchell, Mitchell system right there at uh Mansfield Legacy. I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. Now, you're going to Central Connecticut State next year with head coach Danielle Marshall. What drew you to Central Connecticut State? Uh, he played like six, 16, 17 years in the NBA. I think I think it was something like that. He played for like like the Warriors and Cavs and stuff, and like. It's just like to have somebody that did all did all the accomplishments that he had in the league. Uh, he's he's in like a I don't know I don't know the exact category, but like it's like in the category with LeBron and like Chris Moon. Like it's like not Chris Moon. I just seen him on the TV like two days ago. But like just have a coach like that in your corner to like follow and like listen to and talk to. And like that's cool. Like to have somebody like that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. He's got a lot of experience behind him, so he'll be able to kind of help put you in the right positions that you're going to be able to, to be in to be successful at that level. So now you know Connecticut. It's in Connecticut, man. It's not Texas. I don't know are, you, are you are you ready for these East Coast winters? Are you ready for that? <laughs> no. It's cold out. It's too cold outside for me to go outside right now. <laughs> hey. It's it's a little bit different out there. It's a little bit different out there on the East Coast in those winters. You locked in right now, so there's no changing it. But it's you know sometimes they say it's a reason why people go on their official visits in September instead of in December and November because we don't want you to see what it's like when it's brr out there. You know it, it gets cold out there. I check I check the when I went on my visit I checked the weather. And the low is gonna be was like 44. I got off the plane. I had two jackets on like I would here if it was like 44 degrees here. I got on – I had two jackets on and I, it was still way too cold. It's like a different type of cold. Ah, uh-huh. It's, it gets there. It gets there. It gets there. So, you have many strengths to your game. Mm-hmm. One that sticks out is your shooting, right? Mm-hmm. And how does your game translate to the next level? How, how, how are you going to take your game and continue to elevate that to, at the next level? I can score really on all three levels. So like everybody's then nobody's just gonna let me shoot. So like they're gonna run out and try to contest it and like run me off the three point line. But I can shoot mid range. I shoot like I think I, I shoot like twelve free throws a game at Legacy right now. 
So, like, I can still get, like, to the free throw line with ease. I can get to the mid-range. I can get to the mid-range and shoot a mid-range shot. So, I can score really in any way. Post up. Huh. All right. Hey, that's, that's more of an asset. The more things you're able to contribute to the team, the more of an asset you are, and the more likely you'll be able to be needed and be able to stay on that court. So make sure you keep working on that. But that heater, though, you should, you, you really got a heater, huh? That's, you think that's your thing, right? I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about your teammates for a second. Let's talk about your teammates, Trey. If it was raining outside, which one of your teammates is most likely to dance in the rain? Monte. <laughs> Monte, why why you say that? He's be that's that's the crazy one. <laughs> okay, okay. Who does the who would uh who listens to the weirdest music on the team? Who listens to the weirdest music? Be like, what are you doing? Oh, Mike, Mike Simmons for sure. <laughs> we been playing like gospel music before the games and just seeing. I just be like, shut up. <laughs> I see. I see. I'm. My, I'm always with him. Like me and I'm like right next to each other. He's just be singing. Like, I be singing too, but like I don't like listen to the same. Like, he be playing like Freddie Mercury and stuff before the game. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you got you got a different vibe on what gets you warm, huh? Got a different vibe of what gets you right. Okay, I get that. Everybody, everybody got their own little lane of what gets them ready before game. And some people listen to music. Some people no music at all. Um, a great one was uh, De'Aaron Fox. He used to didn't listen to any music at all. Didn't want to hear any music. Just kind of liked it. He liked to hear the crowd and everything else and just get us that. So, but everybody's a little bit different. Now, check this out. Last one for your teammates. On graduation day, who's most likely to call the night before and say, hey, man, let's all dress alike. We're going to wear this. We're going to wear that. Who? Which teammate is that? Same ones? i say Matt. Probably Matt. Why Matt? Uh, he just he like the he I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like he want to match with everybody. Oh Matt is, huh? Okay. Matt. Got to check Matt out. Gonna see what Matt's like. How's he how's Matt dressed every day? He'll wear some short shorts. Like and he'll wear like these run he'll wear these white running shoes with no socks and have anklets on and stuff. I just, <laughs> he he always wear a Lakers jersey. Like he has like a Lakers shirt. He has like ten Lakers shirts. He just be wearing a Lakers fan. I guess Laker fan. So he's a big time Lakers fan now that LeBron and and Lonzo Ball is there. You can't tell him nothing, huh? Uh-huh. He, he going all the way with him, all the way, balls to the wall with the Lakers fan. Okay, okay. So got some questions from you from some college coaches. They, they like you. They seen who you are. They say, I'd like for you to ask Trey this question. Why do you play the game? Why do you play the game, Trey? Uh, everybody plays for a scholarship, but that's not, like, really why I just played. Like, I used to play football when I was younger. I was more of a football person. But, like, when I got to high school, after my freshman year, I just, like, I just fell, like, in love with basketball more and just – Picking, I, I just played. I just took basketball a little more serious and just started not focusing just on basketball. I knew that like, that would really would help me like get further in life. Uh, when I was younger, I was more of a football person. Football. What position did you play in football when you were younger? I played everything. I, and I was younger. I played running back, and then I moved to like I started getting taller. I moved to quarterback, receiver, and safety and corner. Really. Safety and corner is my main position. Safety and corner. I know about those. I know about those. Safety and corner. You get a chance a lot, a lot of fun out there. You get a chance to catch people from their blind side. You get a chance to get some interceptions and get to see if you can run one back to the – take it to the house. You ever got an interception running back to the house? Uh, well, I, yeah, when I was younger. Okay, okay. In high school, I didn't get one. What's your what's your favorite moment to this point in playing basketball? What's one of the most memorable moments? I know you won a state championship. Uh, that could be it as well. But if if you can pick another moment outside of that state championship, what would be one of your most memorable moments in basketball so far? Uh, 
my the most memorable for me was whenever we played Waxahachie in the regional tournament to beat them to go to the state. That was the biggest one. Why? So why? Why was that one? Just to, to go to just because it was about going to state. It was a big time game. Uh, just Waxahachie was really like that was like it went. It was our rival. It was like really our rival. Like every game that we played, it was packed. Everything. And just like playing in the game, it just felt like it didn't feel real. Like the stands was into it. Everything is just like everything mattered in that game. Like every single rebound, every single deflection to pass. Like just it came all the way down to the last shot. Never. And I hate. I actually hit one of the biggest shots that game. It was in the fourth quarter with like two minutes left. And I hit a shot. Tim came down and hit the two free throws and win the game. Hmm. And there we go from there. From there, we know what happened. We take it to the house from there, right? Okay. So you got one minute to give some shout outs to some friends, family, teammates, whomever. Let's let's go. Let's let's get it. Let me hear. Let me hear. Who are you sending shout outs to? Um, my teammates at Legacy, uh, Mike, John, Monte, Matt. Um, I got some – oh, Terrell at Mansfield, Talik at Lakers, Jay Hayes, Schoolyard, um, Yard Boys with Joey. <laughs> Isaac at OSU. I got his jacket on right now. Isaac at OSU. Um, that's really about it. <laughs> give, me, give me two guys that you like to watch play. Who are two guys that you like to play at, at any level? John Morant at Murray State. Uh, I watch I watch I, Isaac a lot at OSU. I watch his games, and I watch I also watch uh, that's Tyler Cole at Central Connecticut. I watch them. Okay, okay. Now, who would you say you pattern your game after, and who showed you how to play the game? I pattern uh, probably I play. I'm like more of like a athletic Trey Young kind of like I shoot like the threes come on screens I shoot those but I can really like get to the paint and like I can I can finish above the rim at times and I just really attack the basket more I play like a combined like I wouldn't say Russell because I'm nowhere near that athletic but like more of an athletic like more of like Devin Booker kind of that's how I kind of Ooh D Book (laughs) right yeah. yeah, he got that. He got that working. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, who's your funniest relative, man? Who's your who, who's funny around the house or some a relative that you got? Why? Probably my little brothers. They just be running around the house naked. And just they just be doing whatever. <laughs> okay, okay. Like they just like they just they just. They just free guys. They just like to run around <laughs> free, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I need you to give us an impersonation, Coach Mitchell. You got to give it to us. You got to give us something, something on Coach Mitchell. He always be, he always be like, like, we're seeing, like, a lot of our players are seniors. So, like, he'll be like, he'll be, he'll be like, never somebody mess up. He'll be like, you're a senior guard. You can't be like, just got rid of senior guard making like freshman mistakes and stuff. He just be like on this, every like every little thing he just get on it. And he'd be like, that would be ridiculous. Like if we do something wrong, like say today, like we was late to practice one day, he'd be like, it'd be ridiculous for you to get up to practice three hours early, right? Like <laughs> he'd just be over exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> three hours early, huh? Get there three hours early. And he always he'd be like, like one time I didn't shoot the ball in four minutes, but I didn't play three of those four minutes. He got on to everybody. He even got mad at me because I didn't shoot the ball in four minutes, but I was I wasn't even in the game for three of the minutes. He's just like, it'd be ridiculous for you to shoot the ball when you get in. He was just like talking. <laughs> like, that'll be one that would be unheard of for you to practice your hardest. And he always compares me to De'Aaron Fox. He he said that he used to always watch De'Aaron Fox practice and he'll look at the way I practice and he'll just be like. It's a bad performance. <laughs> that just means he's always trying to challenge you, man. That means he sees something in you, and he's challenging you to continue to lift that level up, man, and go to the next level because he knows he, 
You he right. Brings, he up. Huh? He brings the Aaron Fox up like every day, and I just like, I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing his name. I turned, <laughs> on, I turned on the game one day and seen the Kings playing. I turned it right off. I was, <laughs> come on, Mitch. Come on. Come on. See him. Let him breathe. Let him breathe. No, that's all right. But look, one thing about it, you want to be able to look at it like this. If he's bringing that name up uh, continuously, that means that he really sees something in you. He wants to push it out of you. So I get it, though. Sometimes we'd be like, okay, not again. But there's no. He, he definitely sees something in you if he's bringing it up like that. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to br- get ready to bring it home. Cause I know that you, you just got out of practice. You just got back to the house and you got some things you want to do. You going out to play any more ball today or anything else? Uh, I don't, Talik, if you see this, you text me now. I'll go. Cause he'd be going to the 24 and playing. Um, oh, oh, so you get up in the 24 sometime and go at it. Mm-hmm. Some grown men being there, huh? Well, yeah, they be trying to bully me and stuff. They be getting mad. Can you handle it? Yeah. No I the older brothers, they used to beat me up for like every day. Really? Okay, they're going at it with you. Okay. So look, as we as we count down right now, we got a starting lineup. I need you to introduce yourself in this starting lineup, whether it's at Mansfield Legacy, whether it's at uh, 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 Central Connecticut State, wherever it's at, uh, NBA team, whatever. I need you to give us some energy and introduce yourself so that the crowd can hear it and they can be ready to just go bananas. You ready for this? Uh, introduce me like how I want to be introduced. Like, yeah, how you want to be introduced. Give it to us. I want to be introduced as the GOAT from Legacy. I'm the greatest player to come through Legacy behind Isaiah Austin. And then give it, then give it to us then. Say it like that. I hope Trayvon see this too. Huh? Um, cause my parents are telling me, my, but uh, cause I always argue with the former players from Legacy saying that I'm the best player to come through Legacy. And uh-huh. Oh really? <laughs> so you go, you gonna, you gonna give, you gonna put us in the lineup? You gonna call yourself out in the lineup? You gonna do it like that, or you just gonna let us say that I want to be this good? Tell, cause I want to hear it. Get on that. Look, watch this. I'm gonna give you the mic. I got the mic behind me. But it's not, it's not on right now, it's on you, but I'm gonna give you the mic in a second. All right. You ready? All right. What you gonna do? I'm gonna say, welcome number one from Legacy. It's the GOAT from Legacy. The GOAT from Legacy. On the mic, we got the GOAT from Legacy, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, Trey, you are gonna get with your guy, your partner, you're going to go out the rest of the day. You might go to 24-hour fitness. You might have a good time. We know we play um, Friday, 4 p.m. versus Everman, right? Uh, 1.30, I think. 1.30 p.m. versus Everman? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Well, I know that you're going to be ready for that. How far you stay from – how far you, how, long, how long does it take you to get to the, to the school? To the Legacy? Yeah. Like six minutes, seven minutes. Oh, do you? Oh, it's easy for you then. You're going to be there right on time. Get get in there. Get in there three hours early so you can get your shots up. <laughs> All right. You're going to text me at like six in the morning and tell me to come up there. I might just tell Coach Mitchell, hey, Coach, why don't you slide by there and grab Trey on your way up to the school so he can get some extra shooting up, man. You can rebound for him. Will Coach Mitchell rebound for you? No. Nah. Well, we have a gun. <laughs> shoot him down. So I just shoot on that. Okay. All right. Well, there it is. Look, again, Trey, thank you for your time, man. Thank you for being live inside the booth with us. Good luck for you to you for the rest of the season. And even as you go forward to Central Connecticut State next year with Coach Daniel Marshall, know you're going to do some great things. you got some fans that's following you. I'm a fan. I'm going to make sure I follow you and make sure. And, and you know what? Shout out to Brandon Jenkins. Brandon Jenkins did great at making sure that you was able to get inside the booth. He's like, look, man. We gotta get we gotta get him on, man. He's gonna be all right, all right. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Enjoy your day, man. You I'll talk with you soon. You need anything? Don't hesitate to hit me up. I appreciate it. All right. Take it easy. You too. Hey, now who was that? That was Trey Tennyson from Mansfield Legacy State Championship when he was at Timberview. 
He's got, he's got everything in his box. He's got everything. He keeps it. So look, make sure that y'all follow the young man. Keep track of who he is and what he's doing. Support him. It's always good. Speaking of support, make sure that you hit that subscribe button on there. Hit subscribe so you can know who we got coming on the show and when the show started. You might So you hit subscribe. You might be running around. You might be hanging out in the grocery store doing something. You might be playing a game all of a sudden. You get that ding to let you know who's in, who's live inside the booth with us today, and you can be able to watch it right away. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also click the share button. Click the share button. Let people hear Trey talk and, and share who he is. It's kind of a laid back personality. You kind of get that right, but he's a he's a good guy. He's he seems like he's fun to hang around with too. Also, Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at Inside Booth at Inside Booth on Twitter. When you know somebody who's playing well, who you think they deserve to be inside the booth, hit us up on Twitter. Send us at us on Twitter. Send us their information. Send us their uh 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 put us in the uh, in the link that that you tweet out so we can know who it is as well. We can celebrate their performances and get them inside the booth. No, it's not always about dudes that's going to be high major, dudes that's going to be mid major, and just low major guys. We get everybody on. Everybody deserves some love. We're going to get people at all levels, Division Two, NAI, D3. We need all those to be in here because they all deserve a platform, and that's what Inside the Booth is for. Listen, I'm all in low. Make sure that you have a good uh, remainder of your day. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm about to go get in some of the, you know what? I don't eat, I don't eat a lot of meat, but Man, we got some okra up in there, some fresh okra and red tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, I mean. I'm on that. I'm on that right now. Y'all take it easy.